Connor, Creighton. Connor. What? What are you guys gonna do for your next broadcast? Well, I don't have anything in mind. Do you, do you, do you have anything, Mr. Moore? We got nothing. What about an episode of the Connor and Trayton show? Oh, don't no. milk it! Do not milk it! Well, you have to do it, or you fail the class. What? You have too many zeros in the grade book not to do it. So this is your last chance. Hey, this week on Connor Trayton's show, it's part two. We're going to do a new bit this week. As you can tell, we're not in the usual office. We're going out on the streets, and we're going to lay down the Liberty Law. I'm your host, Connor Jeffers. Behind the camera this week is Trayton Acosta with our new assistant, Mia. Everyone say, what's up, Mia? We made up some fake laws that we're going to try to get students to believe. And if they believe them, it's a point for us. If they don't believe them, it's a point for them. Let's see who wins. One of the new laws is that senior parking spots after this year will be no longer. There will be no more senior parking spots to paint. This is mainly because, as Liberty faculty said, that there are too many burnouts. It's way too messy. It, people just can't be responsible with them. What are your thoughts? I mean, it's a little unfair to like the upcoming seniors because like it's like a really fun tradition, but. I don't know, it doesn't really affect me because I'm not that good at art, so I wasn't planning on doing one. <laughs> but it's still, it sucks for the people who planned on doing one. There you go. The one we're going to be discussing is that there will be no more white shoes at Liberty. You can't wear white shoes anymore. It's all black shoes. And the reasoning they gave us was that they get dirty way too often. Students wear accent colors with them. So what is your response to this? Like... I don't understand it. I really don't. Can you go further into that? Um, I've been here for 14, 15 years, and we've been able to wear white shoes the whole time. And now they're taking white shoes away, and now we can only wear black shoes. That's I think that's kind of stupid. Like, you're kidding, right? No. Like, you're being... This is completely serious. Yes. Is this real? Yes. No, I don't believe this. There's no way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, we almost got him. This rule is going to be that Liberty is banning uniforms. Uh, recent budget cuts have kind of sent the Liberty locker into a spiral. No one's buying uniforms anymore because they already have them from previous years. So Liberty has really just chosen to go away with the uniforms. So what are your thoughts, Aiden? I like it. I think it's going to bring a new atmosphere to Liberty. I think it's going to be more uh, comfy, and I think students are going to like it. It's great here. Thank you. One of these rules is studies have shown that Jesus most likely had black hair. <laughs> also, <laughs> Mrs. Lytle has black hair. <laughs> Therefore, X plus Y equals Z. And Z is every student must have black hair. Yes, it is. It is real. Yes, it is. Why do you not think it's real? So... A new rule coming to Liberty in the second semester is that you must run cross country one time a week in off season. Coach Neal has been looking into it for a long time and he said that it's really going to be beneficial towards stamina, especially to football players. What are your thoughts? Um, I, th I, th I think that's a smart rule. Uh, you know, we all need to be conditioned in every sport. Uh, you know, it allows us to perform at a very high level condition is very important but uh yeah that's all I feel. Jalen what are your thoughts uh, personally I think that's a great idea um you know I'm slow anyway so coach Roby was probably going to put me in cross country so it's good to get a head start now there we go pretty good responses thanks for watching everybody final score Connor Trayton for Liberty Students 2 we won thanks for watching see you next time on the Connor and Trayton show